Shit. Oh my god. Alright, hi guys and welcome back to part 7 of my Resident Evil 2 remake walkthrough as Leon. And I'm pausing it here because I'm going to talk to you guys about what's happening. Uh, and obviously I don't want uh, the... I want to say the tenant. What the hell is it called? The... Mr. X, whatever the hell he's called. Um, tyrant, that was it. The tenant, okay. That's a completely different thing. Okay, yeah. So we are the landlord and uh, Mr. X is the tenant that's very angry with us because we dobbed him out of some money or something. That's the uh, the hidden storyline that they don't tell you. So anyway, last time we were looking for cogs, which... Okay, this is a few days ago that I played part six. So what happened was afterwards... Because I needed the cog, so I saved it and I ran around and then that and then left without saving because it didn't add to my timer. Anyway, so what I did was I ran around and for like a good, I don't know, hour maybe, well, forty five minutes, forty minutes, uh, forty minutes, half an hour, and I found the cog, which was upstairs in I want to say. The East or East Warehouse something. Something like that. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up and get that big cog. Take it to the thing and we're going to get the, uh, the, the, the part that we need for the prison. Okay, good. I was going to say, now the problem is I don't know where he is. So which way he's going to come. He's going to come on this way. That's excellent. So what we'll do now is we'll go up here. Maybe it should have gone up the other stairs, but who cares. So we'll go over here. And because it's been... I was doing really well like with where I was. But now that I don't know where I am... Okay, so it's up the ladders. East storage room, that was it. Up, right, so... Let's just bear with me, guys. Up here. And yes, he's chasing me, but I'll be fine. Up here. Actually, I don't. Actually, I'll, it'll use the stairs on you. I was gonna say I don't know how he gets up here. The stairs over on that side. I'll just keep going. There'll be a zombie or two around here, which hopefully I can avoid or at least shoot until they go down. And there's another one over down here. Which he's facing the wrong way, so I should be able to run past him, and I do. Okay, and it was in here. And what we want to do is we want to quickly. It was like right in the middle. Like somehow I missed it. Okay, shit. Run on this way. And we want to do it without the tyrant getting us, really. So basically, just do it as quick as possible. And look, like right there, it's the most obvious thing in the world. You will stop running. Okay, good. I, I want. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um. Is it worth just getting rid of a gunpowder? Get rid of the grenade, then I'll use the grenade. And I've got a knife. As my, like, backup thing. Discard the grenade, yes. And now. Oh, for God's sake, you have to like, actually move everything around as well. Actually, should have got rid of the stone grenade, because I never use that. Okay, here we go. And I'll quickly... Without that happening. Okay, fuck it, I don't... Okay, where am I? That's the wrong way. Okay, that was... Lucky. And hopefully if we're quick. Okay, we are not quick. Okay, but last time I managed to... Oh, shit. If you, I gave him one shot in the head with the mag. 
and that seemed to work. Which is this one. Okay, not this time. Two shots. And now he's down. Now he's down. Okay, and then avoid that guy. Which he didn't. Strong grenade. Okay, see, I, I got into the flow of it. And then I think it's because I stopped playing it. Now I'm stressing out more than I was last time. Okay, so we've got to do this quick because he's going to get up and be right after us. So what do I need to do? Let's look. That looks like... Okay, that did something good. I've got my shotguns and all that bollocks if I need them again. What does that do? Does that lift? Is that what? What does it do? Can I take it out and put that one in? Oh, it brings the stairs down. I'm guessing put it in here. Oh, I got a small gear, okay. And you can't, you can put stuff in it, can you? Does it crank? Is there a way to put stuff in and... Hopefully that'll open the door. Unless I need to put the big one back in there. Do I have it? Try that, see what happens. Okay, good. I think that hopefully is it. attention to our positioning. Hope I don't have to write a report on this. Oh ho! He's got quips as well. Ladies. To be fair, he's a good looking guy. Alright, then quickly examine it. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, I was just trying to get to grips to how it all works again. Okay, so now we have to go back to the prison. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Okay, I expect him to be on the top floor still, but I guess I, we lost him. Okay, it's lucky we worked out. We were going the wrong way before he came out after us. If you get stuck, get stuck in the fucking column. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll go and save it, and I worked out last time that you can drop off the... the thing to make his well actually maybe we have to do it out of here remove parts that was it and get rid of the handle thing but keep the thing the silencer or whatever and we can store that and I'm just looking if there's anything we really need so that removes toxins
combine these two because I don't think we've done that yet. Oh, it fully restores your health. Okay. At least I learned what it did. So I think we'll save it. Obviously, we'll have to avoid him coming back. And then we'll go through the hidden door. And avoid the dogs. Hopefully, I can hear him. Where is he? Wait. Where's that? Okay, hang on. Alright, now our door's disappeared. So how the hell do we get back to... here? See, remember there was ladders up. Stairs going down. Okay, so we'll go through here on the right, all the way through, and through the watchman. That was it, the watchman's room. Okay, good. It's alright, we just need to work it out. And since I'm going through this way, I may as well pick up. How much room we got? We got four slots so I can pick up stuff in here. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. And then he's coming. Oh, you bitch. Oh my god, oh my god, dude. Okay, well. Lucky we have this one. So use that, now we're fine. And now we have hand grenade, uh, hand gun bullets over here somewhere. It's not in front of us, it's. Okay, run. Shit, shit, shit. Oh my days. This has gone terrible. This has gone awfully bad. Oh my god. What's the other thing? Is it worth getting more gunpowder? Fuck it. Outmaneuver that one. Good. That went fucking terribly. Go on. Oh my god! We're gonna die. Shit. Oh my god! Made it good. Through the door. We'll be quick and risk getting this. And then we are going to the right and all the way across to the opposite. They jump high. Hopefully we'll have some green in our box. We have a blue and that's about it. Okay. Oh, we do have that first aid thing, but... And then if we save it, but save it in one, in the one below. Because then we could try doing that run again without fucking up. So I don't think I'm going to get past these dogs. So I'll use the... Okay, I'm allowed one hit from a dog. So then 
If that happens, I'll use the spray. Is my logic and reasoning here. And hopefully they are slow to react. Okay, good, fuck. And I'm guessing it'll come up on the screen if I need... If I need, like with the danger thing, if I need to use it. I don't know what that was, was that a dog? Oh no. Oh, okay, hopefully I put the other one in and use. What? Oh, it's your typical, like... Uh, puzzle thing. Okay, this is more like Sun Hill kind of territory. So I'm alright with this. Or it should be. Okay, we're, we're trying to get them to the... Here. But we need both of them. There we go. And obviously all the other doors are going to get opened as well. Alright, and so there's some sort of weird underground lab, what apparently, or rumours that there is one. After. Come on. Jesus Christ. Ben, Ben, okay. Station swarming with monsters, even here I can hear their cries, but it's not the zombies I'm afraid of. Codename Tyrant, the ultimate bioweapon developed by those bastards in the utmost secrecy. When I was younger I used to think it was utmost, but... Utmost secrecy. To think that there might be one... To think that that thing might be wandering around here. Chances are they've ordered it to wipe out the witnesses. Okay. That's not good. I was lucky. Fuck you, man. Okay, where am I going? Right here. On Leon. Trench coat. <coughs> this is getting old. Saving your ass, that's twice. I didn't realize you were keeping score. Look, this isn't a game. Oh, you gotta kill me. Nothing dies down here. I like it. 
and then here it comes on fire. Or not. Take it, you have the key card. Yeah. And this. I was hoping you could explain what's on it. Maybe. After I hear it. Can we fucking get the key card and put Let's it in? Can we go, please? He is knackered. I like, I like how it's got the kind of Open gradual... Um, like, outfit deterioration, like on Batman and stuff like that. Good, happy with an achievement. Never ending... Is it pain? I'm expecting something to try and like, crawl out from beneath the car. But this might be like a good like uh, exposition part. Is that the intel you needed? Unfortunately, no. Ben didn't come through. Well, what exactly are you looking for? More info on the people responsible for this mess. What about you? Trying to save the world? I told Lieutenant Brenna I'd bring help. Good luck getting that. Gun shop kendo. Okay, so nothing to search for here. So I'm guessing this will just be like a passing through Going section. Gun shop looks like the only way. Yeah, no point scoping out through the window. Let's just open the door and go in straight away. Good job. What a mess. I feel like it should automatically like turn the torch on. Uh, in like dark, in, like shadowy areas. But it's, it's just like, it's either one or the other. It's like, well, this area is meant to be... What does that do? Makes it more powerful. Cool, I'll take that. And a hand grenade, why not? I'll take it for now. I'm guessing she's just going to stand there, so we need to look around. What's this? Kendo, it seems like you've got your reasons for staying put, so I'll trust you to take care of yourself. Still, if things get worse and your other arrangements don't work out, you know where to find me. I'll do everything I can, Jill Valentine. Jill, of course. Jill from Resident Evil 1, who had her shop in Dead Rising. Jill Sandwiches. Because she was almost a Jill Sandwich. So, guessing we just go ahead and cool. I'm not going to hurt you. I said don't move. I'm just passing through. I'm going to ask you to lower that weapon. I kill you are. You're going to turn around and go right back out the way you came in. Zombie kid? I think your daughter needs help, sir. Don't tell me how to deal with my daughter. Drop it. Oh, looks like we've got a sound no! off here. Wait! Step aside. We need to terminate her before she turns. Terminate. Fucking daughter. Ada. Just let them be. How come I hasn't ate the dad yet? Sweetheart, I told you to stay put. Daddy. Hmm. Daddy's here. Okay. Unless it works different on kids, or she's like a special example. Those fucking things outside. <laughs> Is he going to bite his neck at some point? You're a cop. You're supposed to know something. How did this happen? Huh? She was a sweet little angel. Mommy. I was sleeping, honey. Okay. 
And I'm gonna put you to bed too, okay? Emma. If this was a film, she'd totally be like a carrier, and then we'd have to like keep her safe and uh, get her to somewhere so that they could get like an antidote or something. Just go. Just give us some privacy. You know, it's one thing to keep the truth from me, but why him? I want to find out what's happening here and stop whoever's behind it. Helping people like them? That's why I joined the force. My mission is to take down Umbrella's entire operation. We may not make it out. Whatever it takes to save this city, count me in. Heard of the Umbrella Corporation? <clears throat> They're a pharmaceutical company secretly making bioweapons. They have a virus. It turns people into indestructible monsters. <clears throat> that explains the horrible things I've seen. He said that way too happily. Uh. That explains the horrible things I've seen. Fantastic. <clears throat> okay, so we have like a partner now, but I wonder how long she'll actually uh. stay around for. And that's why I'm looking for Annette Burke. <clears throat> She's the one at Umbrella responsible for unleashing the virus. I'm going to bring her down. Uh. Oh, are we going into the sewers, it looks like? as the camera goes through these construction poles. Boop. Okay, so there's no way back up from here. This is how we get to Annette. Based on what you've said, the sewer seems fitting. Well said. After you. Gee, thanks. So how are they gonna split us up here, I wonder? He's gonna slip down, she's gonna be in, and then she's gonna stay there. <clears throat> oh no, okay, he's just walking down it, go on. Can't imagine a real scientist being down here. According to HQ, this leads right into Umbrella's secret facility. Come on, sewers are run by the city. How could they have a facility without the authorities knowing? Welcome to corporate America. <sighs> Umbrella's controlled Raccoon City for years. <sighs> okay, so. One of one of the dead uh, Resident Evils definitely has spiders, and from what I've seen of other people and speed runs, they were in like sewers. So I'm really hoping, because I'm really scared of spiders, that we don't have updated HD. Jesus, that an earthquake! I sure as hell hope so. Spiders. Because I will actually like be really scared. Okay, so I'm guessing we're going through this hole here. So right now, oh, what the hell? It's like a big worm, like Sand Hill Two, Three. I mean, in the mall. Okay, and we have a typewriter. So that's something. So I guess we'll save here. And this probably will make a good exit point for the episode, I think, maybe. Uh, so there we go, that was escaping from the Raccoon Police Department. And now we are hanging out with Ada, who keeps running away every time I go over to her, so we'll stay over here. Uh, and yeah, now we're in the sewers, and so next episode we'll explore the sewers a bit more. And uh, yeah, I guess, see what that giant big worm thing is. So yeah, thanks for watching, still awesome, and I'll see you guys next time for part 8 of Resident Evil 2, which will be the sewers. So thanks a lot for watching, still awesome, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot, guys.